Hi, I'm John Bach, Assistant Dean for Fordham School of Professional Continuing Studies here at the Lincoln Center campus. It's my great privilege and honor to welcome you today to this virtual diploma ceremony for the class of 2021. I'm also happy to welcome all of your family and friends who hopefully are watching along with you. To start our program today by offering an invocation, I'd like to introduce Nicole Bryan, Associate Dean for Academic Programs. Congratulations, graduates. Let us bow our heads in reverence for the invocation. Loving God, we thank you for each of our graduates, for the success that you bestowed on each of them, and especially for the gift of learning. As our graduates embark on their personal journeys, we pray that they will use their knowledge and skills to bless the world and to fulfill the passions and visions that they hold within their hearts. We pray that they will walk in humility, grace, confidence, wisdom, strength, love, and kindness. Guide them, Lord, to honor the diversity of humankind and to value serving others. Help them to remember those who guided them along this path, friends and family, mentors, teachers, and their Fordham community. Bless us all, Lord, as we share in the celebration of their accomplishment and let the goodness of all that you are shine in them always. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now to offer you a formal welcome, it's my honor to introduce the Dean of Fordham School of Professional Continuing Studies, Dr. Anthony Davidson. Distinguished graduates, family and friends watching, listening, and proudly beaming, it is my distinct privilege to address you today, your day. We are emerging from trying and turbulent times of uncertainty. And no, I'm not just talking about coronavirus. I'm talking about your journey, enrolling in and attaining your degree. Balancing work, children, parents, and finances in order to pursue new beginnings, new ways of learning, a commitment to continued and continual learning, and the desire to succeed. We live in a world that is rapidly changing. In some respects, it is the most democratic and tolerant it has ever been. And yet, in others, it falls woefully and sometimes embarrassingly short. As Dean of Fordham School of Professional and Continuing Studies, I have the great fortune to be in regular contact with the staff, faculty, and students who embody all that Fordham stands for in terms of social justice, diversity, caring for others, and of course, academic excellence. In difficult times, PCS students rise to the top with their efforts to give back to society, and some were just recently featured in the media, making meals for the homeless community and volunteering for an organization that helps with the PPE crisis by soliciting donations of protective equipment, and I'm so proud of them. I find it ironic that in order to make sure that the social distancing initiative is effective, there has to be a sense of togetherness. We have to act in unison, be sensitive to others, and maintain our interaction with our fellow human beings, often in innovative and challenging ways, but always working in tandem towards a common goal. And so I challenge you to leverage all you have learned at PCS, your interpersonal experiences, the theme of Cura Personalis, here at Fordham, to go out and make the world better by synthesizing your education so that you can do good while doing well. Congratulations. And now I'm happy to introduce the student speaker from the class of 2021, Kelly G. Clare.
Hi, graduates. When Dean Bach asked me to say a few words on behalf of PCS, I immediately burst into tears. I felt so incredibly honored for the opportunity to stand before you today. And I promised him that I would not cry until after. I, Kelly Jean Clare, stand before you as a proud graduate of Fordham University. <laughs> oh, that was a really long time coming, wasn't it? <laughs> Jenny, you know, I remember sitting in the third floor lounge at the Lowenstein Building at Lincoln Center at the info session for adult learners wanting to go back to school. There were snacks. And I know that, like most of you, once I had made that definitive decision, I started to do my research. I went to other info sessions at other universities in our fair city. They also had snacks. But there was something about Fordham. There was something about the way the, the deans presented the program that night, it felt personal. It felt like family. And although some of the other university info sessions had better snacks, I chose Fordham. And I'm so incredibly grateful that Fordham chose me back. I started in the fall of 2017, uh, taking two classes per semester, and like most of you, also while working a full-time job. Do you remember that first day? I was incredibly nervous. What if I'm the old lady in class? Or what if I'm doing a group project and, and some of my classmates go, you know, you really remind me of my mom. Can I keep up? Will I contribute enough? Or in some cases, you know, maybe a little too much. Um, I, had a, I, had a, I had a horrible nightmare that I would have my hand up in class and the professor would go, Kelly, please put your hand down. You're the one who actually asked the question. But none of that happened. Actually, it was the opposite. I was treated like a peer. It felt like family. And we made it through the core curriculum. I, I, I don't know about most of you, but, but I, was, I, I was terrified of the core. As an English major, having to do math? I, I haven't done math since I graduated high school in 19... A little a little while ago. But not only did we all complete our core curriculum, but for the math requirement, I got an A. And I don't know about most of you guys, but for me, the core curriculum classes ended up being some of my favorites at Fordham. And now, before I exit stage left, I just want to take this moment to thank all of our families and our friends, you all know who you are, for their unbelievable support. And also, a big, big thank you to all of our amazing professors and for the deans, because without you, we wouldn't be here today. And also, a huge congratulations to my fellow PCS graduates. We worked our butts off. I, Kelly Jean Clare, stand before you as a proud graduate of Fordham University. 
and in those immortal words of Elle Woods from Legally Blonde, we did it! Yuob Fukeda Adera. Colin I. I. Young. Akeem K. Archer. Sergio A. Armado. Dane J. Ashton. Mateus Ignacio Ayala. Michael J. Belzano. Jose C. Batalle. Ruhani Batista Palmero. Frederico Benati. Christian O. Bernabe. Andrea Berta. Bodwati R. Boda. Olivia Boyson. Peyton Baskin Brooks. Jamal. Brown Oliver M. Bryan Natalia Bugnaka Karsten K. Cadley Elio Campiola Jr. Rosemary Cardo Brigida G. Casey Nicholas P. Christopoulos Kelly Jean Clare Maya Clanton Cassandra Nicole Coleman Virginia A. Cortijo Megan Costello Travis Cummings Griffin Douglas Daly Daniel A. DeCastro Jacqueline De Leon Cole William DeMarco Yasmina Demaroska Christian Amoros Diaz Sherlyn M. Diaz Yang Shuo Dong Paula P. Douglas William Trippy Douglas Betty E. Ang Lee Carol Esquivel Colin Fernandez Daniel Jacob Fiedler Ricky Fields Maxwell Renata Fletcher Hurst Barbara J. Flynn Keith A. Frankel Sydney Christian Frayne Madeline E. Fritz Adrian Tara Frizzell Rachel Charlie Frost Jazenda L. Garcia Kara A. N. Giacomo Matthew R. Giblin Melissa Geraldo Andrew Gomez Damaris Gonzalez Jessica Elizabeth Gonzalez Marianne Perota Gordonier Shailen Nikel Grant Sophia Gullo Jasmine Guerreri Colleen R. Hanley Catherine Taylor Hardwick Kyle J. F. Horstman George Hadako Iram Javid Joshua David Johnny Jamie Jordan Jessica L. Jernich 
Andrew Corey Kaminsky Michael J. Keenan Morgan Thomas Kelly Catherine Corey Denise Elena Kluber Simone Imogen Kraft Colini Holly Larson Robert Laskew Farida Lequin Timothy Allen Lee Michael Scott Leifer Derek Alexander Lentz John C. Leo Clinetta Aisha Lewis Jo Chen Lin David D. Lopez Haiti Margarita Lopez Luis Miguel Luna James A. Mabe Fiona Mary McKenzie Tamami Maida Richard F. Manchisi Diego M. Martinez Naoka McFarlane Philip McQueen Jr. Gina Marie McSorley Jesus Mendez Ricardo Ivan Mendez Emma Blake Merrill Gabrielle Meyer Pamela A. Miller Victor Abelina Morales Gabriela Mriyai Fak Tang Mum Laori Amelie Nemura Carrie Ann Barcelos O'Brien Siarhe A. Palaku Jonas J. Penrose Joseph Isaac Perez Unity S. Felon Jens Pichiri Saskia D. Pickering Natasia Olivia Powell Stephanie Renee Price Lee Damani Priest Brian Puebla David James Mateo Kichocho Melissa N. Quiroz Sharon Lynn Rappaport Ania Wunigan Roshk Zachary T. Rado Johnny Remigio Juan C. Reyes Jackson Roland Richter George Rual Rivas Michael Rodriguez Eric Matthew Rosario Christian Alexander Rubio Grabenstein Jesse Allen Russell Daniel J. Sabatka Edwin Santana Honor M. Sargent Jamel B. Senior Marie Teresa Sapansky Stefan C. Silverio Samuel Lasseri Sitnoviter Laser Z. Skorik Natalie Slavutsky Danielle T. Selinsky Sean Southey John Lincoln Spencer IV Mary Elizabeth Staker Dylan J. Talbot Yoon 
tongue. Wilson Tovani Tenazakza. Stefan Todorovich. Elizabeth A. Triscotti. Mihailo Zerkovinok. Emmanuel Uran Museli Ukelibe. AC Valbona. Luis Jordan Valle. Eric James Vanderstreet. Jesse Mark Veltian. Matthew Victor. Derek Hernandez Vizarel. Nell Mary Villa Thomas. Laura Walker. Jean Wong. John Richard Dunn Wellman. Jill B. Weston. Harold B. Wilkerson. Michael Joseph Williams. Catherine Wu. Katina Zakmanaglu. Maria Bellin Zambrano. Michael J. Zelensky. Kahia Zhang. Wai Wai Zhang. Chung Lei Zhao. That concludes the diploma ceremony. It's been a great and humbling honor to go on this academic journey with you. And there's nothing really left to say except a final congratulations. We look forward to hearing about your future successes and we look forward to seeing you at alumni events in the years to come. Until then, stay well, and we'll see you soon. This has been an extraordinarily difficult year, and yet you have persevered. You have more than persevered. You've covered yourselves with glory. And so on behalf of the Board of Trustees, our faculty, our administration, and all the members of the Fordham family, I want to offer you my heartfelt and their heartfelt congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You did it. I'm putting all my Fordham gear on to celebrate with you. An amazing job for you to get to this stage. Fantastic. I'm so proud of you. Visit often and stay long. Congratulations to you, class of 2021. Congratulations. 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 Felicidades. Felicidades. Congratulations. From student involvement, congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. Woo! Completing your degree during a pandemic has not been easy, but you did it. God bless you for your perseverance. As you move on to the next phase of your lives, I wish you all the best and continued success. We'll miss you. Keep in touch. Hearty congrats. And here's looking at you. I can't imagine being on this strange journey of a year with more resilient, caring students. Thank you. We love you. And you're always welcome back at Hogwarts on the Hudson. Congratulations. You're an open-minded, globally aware generation. Go out there and make the world better. It's your last asynchronous assignment. We are so proud to call you Rams. Godspeed. Congratulations. Go forth, class of 2021. Act justly, love mercy, walk humbly with your God. It's been a pleasure to teach you for the last four years, and congratulations. In an unprecedented time of obstacles, you overcame. I'm so proud of you. It's been a tough year, but you have persevered, and you have wonderful things ahead of you. May you never stop questioning. May you never stop being bothered by injustice. And may you walk out into the world carrying with you all the lessons and all the friendships that you formed here at Fordham.